Hey guys, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Today we're starting things off hot and heavy. We've got a raid coming in. 75 raiders. Look at them. Ooh, they got axes and spears and they're coming in ready. Okay, uh, sound the alarm, I guess? Uh, looks like our soldiers did recover from the last raid, so... I don't know, should I send them out there to meet them, or keep them locked away? Not sure. Yeah, let's just keep them locked away. I want to see what these raiders do. Uh, yeah, I'm losing a few villagers here, but hey. Oh, I'm gonna lose this carriage driver. Jeez. Oh, there's another group. There's a Oh no, that's the same group. Okay, we wipe those out. Alright, here they are. Look at the arrows fly. <laughs> oh, they're breaking through. It's okay, I think we got it. Now we can send our guys in a little closer. Oh, nope, they're done. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and get this rebuilt. And of course, prioritize. I think they... Oh, they destroyed... Who destroys a park? That's just vandalism right there. Anything else they destroyed? Oh, they came through my tower? How did they destroy my tower? That's weird. They didn't even destroy the gate. And my towers are gone. Okay, that's strange. So today's episode, I do want to finish this little food production district here. And get things cleaned up and organized. And yeah, these buildings need to move over. Now, between episodes, I was doing a little bit of research and found out that there is a glitch in this current version of the game. So yeah, there's my version there. Also my seed too, if you wanna play on this map, but uh, that's my current version and yeah. So apparently the building is too big for the quarry spot. It's like one row of tiles too big and that's why it's not working. So it's looking like we can't get unlimited stone on this map so unless we restart to another map we're kind of done with stone and that's that's very unfortunate because stone is needed in a lot of things let's either hope for another quarry on this map and that it's actually spawned correctly or we're gonna have to buy all our stone we can progressively go further and further out for our stone, but yeah, it's still limited. I'm gonna keep looking around for another quarry. Uh, I mean, this is the second one I found, and yeah, this one's glitched out too, so uh, I don't have high hopes, but yeah, well, anytime we get a merchant in, we're gonna buy a butt ton of stone. Yep, that's the plan. I have one more effort here. Is this, this is a nice small little hill. I'm gonna try flattening out this big old hill. I'm just going to keep trying to flatten it out, so maybe if I flatten it completely down to the ground, I might be able to do something with it. I don't know. It's a, it's my last ditch effort for saving this. Oh, we got a raid summary here. Um, raid size 112, killed 88. Oh, they got a few items, not too much. I'm going to call this a success. They destroyed a few buildings though, but they were mostly like gates and stuff. So, uh, nine villagers dead. Ugh. I I feel like this was a success. We got more than half of them, so yeah. We still need to get those walls going, but maybe maybe later this episode. Let's see. Another concern of mine is all of these buildings, they cannot work. No one can work because there's no coal. And since there's no coal, there's no more iron, and since there's no more iron, there's no more heavy tools. So without the heavy tools, I can't get coal. <laughs> this is a serious problem. It's kind of like everything's kind of stopped. So I need to wait until next year and hope that I get someone that sells heavy tools, I guess. 
either that or I can find another coal mine and put a basic coal miner on it. And let's see, is there any even around? Well, I found one basic coal mine way out here. I mean, this thing's super far. I don't know if it's going to be worth it to build a coal miner all the way out here. But I guess if it gets us going again, I'll just put it right here. I mean, this is going to be a long, long road. we got to go all the way over here. All right, let's go for it. That is definitely one of our longest roads. I'm going to have to build a couple mountain shelters out here to keep this, keep my villagers safe along the way. Get ourselves a little mountain shelter here along with a well. That should do it. We'll, we'll dot some trees around that too. And another one right about here. Dot that right there. Good. Okay. And people already coming out here chopping down trees. Nice. You know, while we work on this massive terraforming project, I did notice one more thing. There is another stone, an infinite stone mine over here. Way, 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 way over here. Right there. And there's no hills. And I build... Oh, we got a merchant. Um, Let me pause it really quick. I don't want to miss that merchant. Um, Can I build here? Oh, I can build there. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, we are saved. We are saved. That's amazing. Yeah, this one didn't have that many hills, so... Actually, no hills at all, so I'm going to build a road immediately. Build that right around there. Um, I'm going to connect up to this properly here. i got to bring this straight, because I don't know exactly how far out my... Housing district's gonna go, so I'm just gonna connect it right like that. Okay, call that good enough. You know, I could put a road going across here. There we go, put a road going across there. I don't think the housing district's gonna reach out that far, but you never know. Now with that quarry being so far, I do need to put in a nice shelter right here. Just to help my guys find some shelter when there's a blizzard or or whatever winter comes on a little early and I'll put a well and I'll grab the arborist and I'll dot some trees around that as well as the other ones that we built all right get you a few apple trees there get a few apple trees here and over here yeah it just helps out spread out food a little bit for the mountain shelters or not the mountain shelters but the uh the temporary shelters well, this guy is not holding any heavy tools or stone. I mean, I still need stone right now. But yeah, he's got nothing. Nothing that I could use. I have got a lot of cheese. Holy moly. I mean, he's buying very low, but I should definitely get some cheese transferred over. We'll do that. Okay, while well, everything's building now, we need to work on our little district here. So... I've got another cheesemaker getting built here. I'll probably put this building on hold until I need it. I think this building's keeping up just fine with the cheese. Checking the screen here, we can see our dairy, our milk. Ooh, we're losing 800 milk every year. Oh, we're losing cheese too, but I think cheese has a longer shelf life than milk. So it might be wise if we take some of that milk and turn it into cheese before it spoils. So maybe the other cheese building might be worth building. Our labors are pretty high, so I can probably start out here by adding just a couple more cheese makers. Now, I do want to add a second brewery. Uh, we, again, we don't need it right right now, but I'm just kind of filling up my food making district here. Okay, so the preservationist building, I can plop that down right there as well. Um, ooh, it's a little smaller, so I guess I could put it up here. Yeah, let's put it up here. I'll put one there, and I'm also going to build another one. Again, just trying to fill up this area. And we'll put it right there. 
That leaves this room here for apothecary. Yeah, I could put apothecary here. I'll do two of them. One here. And one here, and then that leaves us a little bit of room for our bakeries. I can put one there. Oh, is that building going to be locked out? I hope not. I hope I don't completely block that building. I can put a bakery there. I don't think it'll be locked out. I can put this sideways. I'll, I'll do this. I'll put a bakery there. And a bakery over here, and then that leaves us a little room for a road. Hopefully that's acceptable. There we go. And I am also going to move my stockyard right up here. Okay, I think we're pretty well set here. What else are we missing for food production? Yeah, I think we got it. We got two of everything. This little district here is really coming along. Now, another things we need to do is like these root cellars. They need to get upgraded, but uh, bricks are... We're kind of hurting for bricks right now, so I'm gonna... Oh yeah, everything needs bricks. We need to up our brick, brick production. Um, how's our labors? Labors are still good. Oh, they're missing coal, that's why. I did put another brick builder there, but he's missing coal. Oh yeah, coal's gonna be a problem. I didn't get a merchant that was selling heavy tools this year, so... It's all up to this coal mine that's way, way out here. They haven't even built it yet. Let's prioritize that. Well, it's a new year. Year 68. Wait, this one says 69. This one says 68. I don't know what year it is. Either way, we might be in trouble. Look, we're out of flour. And we can't get flour because these things are out of tools. Um... Yeah, we're going to be in trouble soon. Everything is running out of heavy tools. Okay, there's a merchant here. Heavy tools. Okay, we're going to buy a metric butt ton of them. Hey, I wish there was a list on how many heavy tools we need. Oh, we could sell a lot of stuff to him. There we go. Sell you 2,000 gold of cheese first. Oh, man, it's high. He's, he's got the price on the heavy tools very high. Um, I don't think we have much of a choice. I say we just keep selling cheese to him. What? We have 2,000 cheese? Oh, we're going to sell cheese to him all day. We're going to pay for all these heavy tools with cheese. Okay, I'm going to buy 20. That should get our economy jump-started again. Because we desperately need the tools. Uh, buy and transfer. And I'm going to keep an eye on him and just keep doing the cheese trade. We should make some of the money back. Oh, we could transfer beer, too. Selling it for an average price, though. There we go. Just in time. He's here for two days left. And we bought all our gold back from him. Made it all back in cheese. 1,760 cheese. <laughs> well, I definitely think it was worth it. Uh, looks like we used up quite a few of those heavy tools already. We only got 11 left, and we bought, not, we bought 20, so... Nine of them were used. I think what I'm going to do... Look, they're on pause. So I did set production limits. So I think I'm going to change that to... I don't know. 30? I never want to run out of these things. Okay. Now they should be making them again. Yeah, they need iron and coal. All out of iron. All out of coal. Okay. So with all those tools back... This one should get going again. Someone's probably delivering the tool. Looks like just about everyone is back to work. It's looking good. I mean, just missing a little bit of iron, but... Yeah, I'm happy to see everyone's back. 
back on the way with bricks. I mean, there is a lot of upgrades ready to go. I might need another brickyard. That might be a good idea. You know what? Yeah, let's get another brickyard. Now, another thing I've been doing is I've been adding these storage yards, these stockyards everywhere. Uh... Hopefully it's not a bad idea to put them outside of my main city. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, if we get raided and they want to take some raw resources, I guess that's better than taking gold or whatever. So that's why I'm just kind of plopping them way out here. So whenever these buildings produce, they can just send it straight to the stockyard. And that is just about... Oh, come on. Six more. I just want to put down my brickyard. Come on, guys. There you go. Okay. Good. Brickyard. Still no. Oh, it's still wonky. Let's level it again. Low desirability. Oh, no. What happened here? Oh, no. What's going on with our desirability? I might have built my industrial district a little too close. Hopefully a couple parks can fix that. I mean, festival pole? If I put this here, will that help? Let's try that. Probably won't hurt to put a small park here, too. I don't like to see that. Looks like the rest of these guys are pretty happy here, so... That's just this row right here that's doing pretty bad. Yeah, they could be happier. Huh. Oh, we're being raided. 106 raiders. We really need to build some walls. Uh, they're way out here in the black. Oh, uh, they're coming this way. Or this way. By the way, we do have some towers built. Hopefully they can help. Oh, they're right here. There they are. Come on, towers. Ooh. Oh, they're coming in from the other side, too. Okay. Ooh, sound the alarm. Come on, guys. Let's go, villagers. Um, I should probably send these guys in. Go, guys, go. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, we lost one. Okay, I think we did it. This guy's just picking them off. <laughs> no gold storage. Uh-oh. I'm thinking I might need to rebuild this whole area right here because, I mean, my gold storage is always bad. So I might need to build, like, a few vaults. Either that or use the money. <laughs> I don't even know what to use the money on anymore. I'm just addicted to, to selling stuff. There we go. Get some more money. Why not? Ooh, we did put a heavy dent in our heavy tools, so... Oh, he's selling them really high. I, I guess what doesn't matter to me? I got the money. I'll buy a, a lot of it. Ooh, the iron's coming in. What is this one? Shroud of the Unknown Soldier. No. 100% recovery rate from festering wounds. I'm okay. Alright, we'll just wait for the raid summary. Okay, summary says... Nothing pillaged? We took out 89 out of 106. That's pretty good. Only two villagers lost. Okay. That was definitely a victory. You know, we've got so much money, and I'm not liking how these raids are going, so I think it's time... Definitely think it's time to really start pumping out an army. So, with the army, it's going to come with some walls. I say we start building our walls here. Um, Let's build this one here. And let's take it all the way down here. Okay, and then you know what? Let's double that up. 
to there, and then to there, and to there. And we tend to get raided down here a lot, so let's get these walls going, and of course let's get some gates going. We, since we have, oh, we don't have a whole lot of wood right now. I was going to say, let's build it out of wood and then upgrade it later, but uh, we might want to just build it out of stone. But we don't have a whole lot of stone either. If we upgrade it later, do we get the wood back? I'm not 100% sure. So it might be more efficient material-wise to just build it as stone first. I'm still waiting for that stone mine to get done. They're waiting on iron, so... How's our forged foundry doing? They're fully staffed. They're pumping out iron. Just everyone is begging for iron right now, so... Oh, can I finally finish my brick maker? No. Still not. Alright, so the walls are coming in pretty good. Um, so the gates, they're actually a natural weak point in the walls. So what I'm going to want to do is build... I'm going to go for two guard towers per gate. It looks like these are going to cover pretty good. And then the rest of the wall, I'll just kind of overlap the other guard tower. There we go. Overlap that one. Overlap this one. And hopefully that's some good coverage there. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I noticed all the gold just sitting out here rotting, so I just transferred a bunch to the trading center. So hopefully... It's not out here rotting, and it's safely in here. At least a little more safe than just sitting out there. So while that gets built, I'm going to just go around and check on everything. Make sure everything's going good in the colony. Uh, I wanted to, Oh, I wanted to check on this. Ah, uh, we still need more iron. We're almost there, though. Seven more iron. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I was just ex excavating this little rune site here. We found the Eye of the Hunter. Bows and crossbows and towers do deal 15% more damage. That's a cool relic. I probably won't equip this because I like my food relics better. But And then another thing I didn't know is you can harvest these as soon as you're done pulling the relic out. So that's nice. That's a little source of stone there. Wait, my market? Is condemned? Um, let's rebuild that. I didn't know the marketplace can get condemned. I'm guessing my builders just aren't keeping up anymore. I should add some more builders. Our, our laborers are starting to fall short. We need 59 laborers? Mmm, that's a lot. Okay. And the quarry is just about done. Just in time before the blizzard gets here. Alright, little worker, you better run to that shelter. So, with the quarry done, uh, I am going to fill this up with workers and hopefully we can start getting a ridiculous amount of stone. Okay, so I mapped out our residential area a little better. So if we mirror out this, if we mirror it completely up over here, it should end right about here where this road and fence is. It should, if I did my math right. So that leaves us with all this space to build walls so we can block off our, our little town here. Thinking I can build a wall here, and then I can build another wall, like, over here. And that should kind of protect us pretty well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do stone walls, just because I think it's going to be cheaper on material that way. So let's say I do something like that. Um, maybe go up like that. I want to save on material if I can. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's double up the wall. There we go. I think that's good. Can't forget to add a couple gates here. Bam and bam. 
And we'll do the same thing over here. Let's get our two gates here. And we will connect that and connect that. And then the same thing over here. And connect that right around here. Yes. Ooh, someone just died. What happened? Dead in combat? What happened? Is there a predator? We're gonna have to wipe out any predators here before we really close off our town. I know there's boars that were wild here, but I thought we wiped them out. Oh, he's right there. There's a boar there. Okay. We need to take care of him. Alright, so we are reaching autumn of year 73. And our walls are getting built, slowly but surely. Got this one, just a few more pieces left here. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, oh, yeah, this whole section here needs to get built. Well, we're getting there. This one's built. This one's built. Those were already built from before. But now we're starting to map out another wall here. Oh yeah, they're already working on it. So we're coming down here from this lake. And we're taking it all the way down here. Across this road. And then you know, we could do this together. I'm actually going to take it somewhere about here. And I guess take it all the way across to the water. Ooh, I still need to go further. I don't want to zigzag this too, too much. I could zigzag it a little bit. Hold on, let me get rid of this road. Oh, I can't get rid Oh, that road connects. Darn it, I gotta cross the road with another... Another gate. Okay. Okay, it's really hard to see, but it's right behind those trees there. Um, I can't actually see it. Okay, it's right there. Can I get a better view? Oh, now it's getting dark, so now it's making it really hard to see. Okay, continue it from there. I may have to straighten out that road. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, and bring it back up. And double up the wall. Right to there. Okay, I think I got that. Oh, now I can see. Okay, I'm going ahead and straightening up the road here a little bit. Just to make it go through the gates a little smoother. There we go. Yeah, that's a little smoother. Okay, so this side is taken care of. They just gotta build it. Lots and lots of stone are needed. And now, they're already starting to work on this side up here. So this is the north side of my, my residential district, which ends right here. So they're working on this wall. That's gonna block that off. And then I've got another wall right here planned out. So... Making progress. We're doing good. Well, unfortunately, that seems to be all the time we have for today. We are at the beginning of year 74. So, making a lot, getting a lot done. We're definitely getting a lot done. And it seems like every episode we make more and more progress. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you have, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.